you take the lead in. When we, you may be taking your lead in in a manner or form that worked for you 10, 15 years ago, even a year ago, but that's now changed. You're dealing with someone over the phone who needs something, wants something, two different things they need or want. And sometimes they're in a hurry to get and sometimes they're not. What's their common denominator? Well, usually they own a home, some sort of a building. That's why they're contacting you. And what's your form of response? In many cases, we see the phone is answered this way. Thank you for calling XYZ Construction. If you're calling about getting a proposal, press one. And on it goes. And this is supposed to speed up the process. What does it lack? It lacks something we call a dyad. A dyad simply describes this interaction with two people coming from obvious sources who put the chain, the link of communication together. So you maybe would take a look at the way you take the information in. And there's a way to question people. And it's scripting. Whether you like it or not, it's scripting. When you see something well done, there's a script behind that. And I think based the, the fundamental um, part of what you're talking about, which is sort of systematizing things, is definitely a big part of selling and just basic management and remodeling. So my question to you would be, speaking with home improvement and remodeling companies the way that you guys do, what are some of the characteristics that you're finding in salespeople that are working the best nowadays in sort of our current selling environment? And how can companies better train their employees in those particular characteristics? First of all, we have to get rid of a lot of old concepts, ways people did business for years. They're all going to be changing. Some of them have changed already. If you look at it, some supermarkets aren't going to be around. A lot of restaurants aren't going to be around. There's more money spent today over the phone ordering the process. But what you're dealing with are a set of factors which originate with the buyer, not the seller. So if we're going to be sellers of ideas, we have to be commodious. We have to respond to the way that prospect thinks and feels. If what you're doing, if what you're saying doesn't benefit the consumer, your process will eventually fail because the world is changing around you. Now say, well, everyone knows that. Well, I'll show you an example. When, this, uh, when the uh, mall was still alive, now it takes you 20 minutes, 30 minutes to get to the mall, another 10, 15 minutes to find a parking spot. Not now, but a year ago. Now, now you finally find a parking place. You go into the mall, you go up an escalator, down an escalator, and you finally get to the place where someone talks. Clerk comes over. And what does she say? Traditional statements that have been around for, uh, for many, many years that mean nothing. May I help you? To which 85% of the people say, no, thanks, just looking. Now, that person saying, may I help you, doesn't want to know about new language because they think anything beyond may I help you is pushy. The person saying, no, thanks, just looking, is not saying that because they're just looking, is they don't want someone hanging over them, annoying them, and making suggestions that aren't helpful. What do you think is the complicated thing? Getting the person to stop saying, may I help you? And suppose if you said on that phone, thank you for calling XYZ Construction Company. How may I direct your call today? How can I be of service today? How can I be helpful to you today? And so when you say that, the first thing that person is encouraged to do is to tell you something. They are giving you specifics to which you can then respond. What have you done? You've shown importance to a detail that makes they take, take some out of the general flow of the population, and it's a very personal thing.